Let's talk a little bit about the Yankees. We mentioned the Meredith Morakovitz. We'll talk to Brian Cashman coming up in just a bit. Among the things he talked to the media about this week were bringing in Corey Kluber and Jamison Tyone, but having to say goodbye to Masahiro Tanaka. And it was interesting when Cashman talked about that, Bob, because you look at how good a pitcher Tanaka was for the Yankees for seven years. But in explaining it, Brian Cashman said, it was a two-for-one situation. If you look at what the Yankees are going to pay Kluber and Tyone, it's roughly $13 million. So that gives you an idea of what Tanaka was looking for in the open market. And that would have been a fair price for Tanaka for what he has been as a pitcher. Look at someone like Charlie Morton who signed for one year $15 million. I think that the Yankees looked at both Tyone and Kluber as pitchers who can come back and be very successful after the injuries that they have dealt with. But there is absolutely a risk involved. Tanaka had been a very resilient and durable pitcher, struggled in the postseason, still has that UCL tear in his elbow that he's been dealing with since 2014. So the Yankees elect to go for those other two pitchers instead of Tanaka.